long time no see well kind of not really because i've been able to drop a few videos while i technically haven't been making videos throughout the week like i said i loaded up on videos all on monday but it is now sunday technically and i did miss putting out a video for saturday and i said it was going to be my still deck so on this sunday which is today we'll be dropping two videos hopefully so the first of which will be this video of course and it'll be my steel deck and what did i say my plan was for the rest of the week i forgot but once i remember we'll definitely be doing it but i did forget my intro it's your boy as you know uncle daddy luke lucas invader lucas hunter whatever you want to call me and like i already pretty much uh, uh put out right now will be working on my steel deck so it's mostly already completed before i started recording just now within this past minute i was going through the deck and looking at all the cards i had and kind of having an idea of what i wanted to do with the deck so just to get a sneak peek at it i still need four more cards to put in the deck and i believe i'm good on pokemon or i might not be actually now that i look through them and some trainer cards energy is fine right but definitely 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 i um, going to try and find a few more trainer cards and possibly put in two more pokemon that i just seen and with these energies i think now i want to go ahead and run the four double colorless energies for all my decks when i go back and change them but you know without further ado let's get into it and you guys can kind of see my thought process behind decks I usually nine times out of ten just do cards that just seem like they good <laughs> like they're good or could give me some kind of boost but now that I see this I have this card at the very end here which is literally uh, the second to last card and it is just fine you know I can get any supporter card I want this Jirachi EX I mean it's only 90 health but uh, it has one retreat, so maybe it could get out of there easily. Or it can just stay on my bench, you know, the whole time. And its purpose is just to stay on my bench and never put it out to uh, fight. But I definitely do think I want to start that. And that'd be a good card to start with. Well, if you put it on your bench. And also this Cobalion EX. I didn't even know I had it. So I think those are two more cards. So I actually might only be putting uh two more trainer cards instead of four but just to look at the actual cards themselves i have lowland sand slash and it's not like uh the water typing where you can get the extra draw card right but it's still fine to run i believe uh the two cabalians uh which is fine this one is more so just for the quick guard just to stall and this one is just to stay on the bench uh, this card seems as though it's okay to have if it has to be uh, uh, in the active spot and it kind of functions well if they attack it so they have to lose the energy. Right? This is going to stay on my bench definitely. And we have our heavy hitter here uh, for sure, our Lucario Mail Metal tag team that I ended up getting for my uh, son or was it nephew? I bought the deck for, but whatever. Uh, gonna try and run Magnezone just like the it's electric counterpart is literally the exact same uh, card but just steel now and then Melton and Mel Metal Bisharp just because it looks cool and Zamazenta I do have this one we weren't able to find our uh, what's his name Zal something right but hopefully we can find them by the end of this video because if you notice at the top right of our screen we have enough for three packs at least and Zashian, that's his name, Zashian, uh, for three packs at least. So we'll definitely be buying some more packs at the end of this video after we run a, f a match. Uh, so uh, what the point of this video is, you know, just to finish out this video and you get to see the Sogaleo GX just because. Uh, and just seeing which cards I could have better, right? Um, and if I need these three i don't believe i need all three of these so we're gonna try and find a, a, a better cosmog on my cosmog cards oh snap it's still on the metal filter right so gonna find my cosmog i think that unaware is the best Or is it Cosmic Guard? Which one seems better? Um, I 
How about that one? This seems a little better. And Cosmoem. I think I have more than what I thought I did. And Teleport definitely seems better just in case I get switched into that role. So I think we will be adding these four more trainer cards at least, right? So I think that's what I want to stick with for now. Obviously, it'll still be up for a debate later. But let's look at the trainer cards I have right now. And, you know, it's pretty cut and dry, to be honest with you. This Jasmine card is just really, 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 really good. Uh, if I, Especially if I go first. Well, after if I get it in my first hand, so that's why I have so many of them. Uh, just because, and if not, uh, to get rid of it, because it's kind of useless after that. I will use a Ultra Ball for sure. If I can spell Ultra. Ultra Ball, there we go. To get it out of my hand and be able to find some more cards. And if you remember in a past video, if you didn't watch it, shame on you. Well, not really shame on you, but just saying. We ended up getting this gold card here. Oh, but I have a lot of Poke Gears, actually. Hmm. Interesting. So, wow, did I just finish it that fast? Well, you know, we got to take that out. We got to put in the new card we just got, right? Of course. Where's she at? Here she goes. The new Miss uh, <laughs> Nurse Joy. And am I satisfied with that? I'm really not too sure. I only have one Evolution Incense. Um, where can we cut it at? You know what, since I have Marnie, I don't think I need three Cynthia's, and I think I'm gonna find me another Evolution Incense. Cause I do have quite a few Evolutions, uh, if I know how to spell Evolution too, right? So, do I put Red and Blue? Red and Blue actually kind of helps with my Psychic deck with Tyranitar if I'm able to get started. Maybe let's just do that for Solaleo, just because. So this metal frying pan seems like it's going to come in a lot uh, health uh, to help wise because uh, uh, it, you take 30 less damage and Melmetal and Lucario's GX move is all your steel type Pokemon take 30 less damage from attack. So you stack that with that. That's minus 60 damage. And, you know, uh, what else do I have here to help with being able to stay alive more? Of course, Pokemon Center ladies, but I thought it was something else. I guess I was wrong. So yeah, just Ultra Balls to get stuff in my discard pile, Mount Coronet to help me get energies back in my hand if I just started with my Ultra Ball. I think this seems pretty, I mean, if it seems like it can function well. I mean, honestly, with the cards I have, I don't know what corrections I could make right now. What is this effect move, ability? Okay, that's fine too. Hmm, and what is his ability? Okay, kind of useless. Actually, this card doesn't seem as good. It's not even close to Zacian <laughs> at all, to be honest. But, I mean, we have it just because we might as well use it, right? You know what? Now that I say that, let's actually go back and look <laughs> at other cards we could possibly use instead. This Ferrothorn seems actually pretty decent too as well. And it was another Ferrothorn as well, but I mean, that'd be too many. That's just too many Pokemon to... I'd have to take out somebody else. Okay, of course, it wouldn't be a, my, one of my videos if that didn't happen within the video. So, let's just go through it one more time. That Iron Tail seems really unstable. I don't love it. It's not like Maractus, right? It's just... Uh, if you get a Tails the first turn, you're pretty much out of there. I don't love that. Um, This Escavalier seems pretty good for just one energy. Let's see. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. And with Shellon. What does Shellon do again? Hmm. Okay, 
Okay. So I'm at my 60 right now, right? But that could be a definitely, definitely be added just in case I don't like some cards or some cards kind of end up being useless for me, right? So I'll always have something in mind to be able to put in its place instead. This is definitely supposed to be in extension order. I don't know why it doesn't, why it's not in extension order sometimes. Okay. Okay. So for sure, like always, I say, whoever's listening, if you have any, 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 any ideas for me uh, about how I can make this deck better, cards I could possibly trade for or get please 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 let me know put in the comment section below uh interact with me i think i put out my twitter before if not it is uh definitely put in the description maybe <laughs> probably not but for sure i would love to get feedback i'm not the best at this like i said i just usually more than nine times out of this is the fair the one i was looking at that i might wanted to put in because that's really good for all the metal energies in the uh, uh attached to this card you can do up to 100 damage to one of their bench Pokemon as well. So that's really good for sniping, right? So I think, yeah, I'll end up putting that Ferrothorn and Escavalier in the deck if I see some cards aren't helping me at all. But hopefully I'll be able to get these Magnezones started on the bench. I'll be able to get Jirachi on the bench. I'll be able to get Kabalion on the bench. So I can uh, uh, eventually, you know, start with Sogaleo. Sogaleo. Sogaleo with Mount Coronet and Magnezone just seems like a match made in heaven. So hopefully that this deck goes as intended. I mean, I'm kind of being a bit long-winded, but I don't know what else uh, to put in. I really don't. I really don't. So, I mean, I don't know. Without further ado, I think I want to test it out. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and do it. So, steel deck first try. And, you know, we got our little uh, clip, Plasma Coin, deck box, we're going to use Mel Metal Lucario, and just the regular card sleeve, I'm sure. So, let's say, and you know what's actually really fun with this? If I end up live streaming this game, I'll definitely be just playing test deck a lot, just to get ideas in my head or see how I should be playing this deck. Now, this isn't a perfect example because their decks kind of suck pretty bad on here. Uh, the opponents that you fight, but it, it's actually really, really fun to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie, so um, for sure you get them started, right? And that Jasmine, like I said, I had three of them, so hopefully I can get her on the first turn. And look at here, she's there right when I need her. So when I put her out there for uh, the first game, hopefully we'll be able to see if I can Jasmine. All right. So, like I said, it's just a computer. It's not the greatest out there or whatever, but... Um, okay, so she only works on your second turn. If you go second, you can file the five steel Pokemon. So that means I never, ever, 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 ever want to go first with this deck. Which is cool. That's fine. Uh, I usually don't go first in any deck besides my dark deck because I have Eevee with that uh, evolution, whatever it's called, ability. So literally every other deck you mostly want to go second with. So this one for sure, though, is you have to go second. So that's fine. There's no issue with that at all. But with that, let's actually try and find who. Who do we find here? I think we find Jirachi to find whatever supporter card we want next. All right. Is that the best way? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. 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 Okay. Yeah. And then we find another Jasmine. 
and get whatever steel Pokemon we want after that. That'd be cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to end up liking this deck a lot. All right. Okay. Uh, I just noticed she mostly has steel deck. To, she has a steel deck as well. That's funny. Uh, maybe they did it on purpose, just for the theme of the video. Look at a uh, uh, Pokemon trading card game online helping me out with my video. <laughs> but you know what? I think I'm gonna end up liking this deck a lot just because of that Jirachi EX and Jasmine and just Mount Coronet and how the theory behind all my decks is that they're supposed to be able to function with each other right but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way <laughs> um i think just because uh we're just gonna get magnezone maybe or magneton and then Put this extra energy onto Lucario Mail Metal. Do that. Oh, what, man? I think I'm gonna like this deck a lot. Wow. I think it might it might be touching my fairy deck. I'm not gonna lie to you, folks. <laughs> we'll see, though, once it gets online and it's not a computer, right? With better cards and actually attacks. Sometimes, usually, when. The, Poke, the uh, CPU has the chance to attack. They do something dumb and they don't attack me. They do like uh, uh, flip a coin instead of doing actual guaranteed damage every time. And something you, you know, it's just, it's just not a good representation of how matches will actually go. But it's still okay. It's still fun. Like I said, if I were to actually end up live streaming this game, I'll more than likely end up doing chess deck a lot just to get ideas in my head how I should be playing it. Especially if it's something easier, right? Now. Um, we'll be doing this pretty effortless, effortlessly. I have not lost <laughs> to the CPU yet. So with this double colorless energy, I think we're gonna go ahead and put it on a low and sand slash just because, right? Or a Kabalia, that'd be nice. Okay, it doesn't need. Uh, we put him here. Uh, he doesn't take double energy, right? No. So, like I said, it's going to be a learning process. It's always a learning process with all of my decks, actually. But with this, for sure, with all the abilities and uh, Jasmine, like I said, if you go, she only works if you go first. Uh, second, I mean, uh, if you start the match, where you can find the five steel cards instead of just the one is going to be some nuanced things that I'm just going to be constantly learning and that's with all of my decks that I end up learning a lot from but let's see if we can get this Poke Gear and get something fun okay it's nothing but it's fine we're going to shuffle up our deck anyway and see if we can get some uh, 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 trainer card with the next two more Pokemon right <laughs> So Lucario Mel Metals GX move, let's look at that. That's something also I need to learn. If it has at least one extra energy, it discards all of their energy from your other op uh, opponent. Okay, that's nice. That's nice to know. So I could literally just do a double colorless energy the first turn, you know, have it ready, but then I won't be able to steal fish, right? But at least I'll be able to full metal wall, get my, you know, all that, right? There's all that. Okay, okay. I like it, I like it, I get it, I get it. Now here, who would be the next best Pokemon to put up? Because I want to keep Kobalion on my bench. I want to keep Jirachi on my bench. Um, if it's a situation like this, I think Zamazenta would be the best. To go in after a Alolan Sand Slash. Okay. Do I have any energies in my discard pile? I do not. 
So apologies if this video is kind of long. Oh yeah, see, they uh, uh Kabali helped me out here. Uh, sorry, this video ended up getting kind of long. Let me just go ahead and end this match right here instead of doing everything. Else. But like I said, you guys just get to look into the side of my mind and see how I think when I make decks, especially now since I have a lot better cards than when I started out with when I started making these decks. You know, better cards have come out. I've been able to purchase more packs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just run it online. I mean, what better way to actually see how good it is until you uh, get the chance to play actual people? So hopefully we can win this one match and get this extra 200 Poke Coins so we can get one more extra booster pack to play with as well. But with him having the advantage on the first turn, I don't love it. So, oh, Tails never fails, baby. Of course, of course. Every time I say that, it ends up being coming ahead. So maybe I just need to keep my mouth quiet. So, okay, he's going to do us a favor and actually go first. So, hopefully we can get Jasmine. And we do. Nice. Whoa. Uh-oh. Wow, I don't think I could have asked for a better first hand for my very first time running this deck online, but, uh, you know, <laughs> unless he Marnie is, let's get this, these cards out of my hand. I don't know. I think we're going to, uh, this might be a really good match for a very first deck. But that Horatio is kind of scaring me. Horatio or a Corio, or whatever it's called, is scaring me quite a bit. But man, that's... so let's do this first, just because. No, I don't want to uh, bail him out just yet, just in case he has a good hand uh, card in his hand. Uh, but for sure, we're going to Jasmine. And who are we going to find? The trail question. Uh, we're going to find... Mm, we're going to find... Boom. 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 Oof, my dude. Oh, I already had a Magnus on in my hand. Okay, whatever, that's fine. So with Jirachi, I think we'll... What supporter card do I find now, though, is the real question. Hmm. Maybe Cynthia... To be honest. Because once I get all these Pokemon on my bench, you know, I'm going to might need to. Yeah, once I get Magnezone started, I can uh, start putting energies on all of them. So that's fine. That is fine with me. He's definitely going to be able to triple poison, but I already have uh, Pokemon Center Lady in my hand. I forgot. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, got that instead of the Marnie for sure now. Oh, my God. He's got these cards that I always have a bad time playing against. Oh, yeah, but Kabalian, Nice. He's pretty much useless, actually, right? So we're just going to do this. And then we're going to wait. Hopefully we, we'll be able to Magnezone next turn if they don't Marnie or something to get our card back in our hand. But yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that Shuckle is useless. It's literally useless. That indeed is scary. Look at that. It does 60 more damage for each 
energy attached to your opponent's po active Pokemon. Oof, that's scary. So 60 times 3 is 180. It's going to do 190 damage. Uh -oh. So nice. Don't mount Coronet out there for sure. And let's hopefully we can get a lot of energy cards in our hand right now. At least two. Mm. How about we do this, man? Just so we can start attacking, right? Is there anybody else I can evolve? Mm, well, I just get a Leyland Sand Slash just because. Oh, but you know, I could have Jasmine next turn. Uh, regardless, huh? Oh, well. No biggie. I should have just Jasmine instead of Ultra Balling, huh? Okay, see, that's the little nuance things that I was talking about. I'm definitely going to have to learn with this deck. Uh, that would suck in my Loneland Sand Slash is... Ooh, it is. Okay. That's fine, though. No biggie. Ooh, but he might actually be able to kill me, right? 60 times 4. Ooh, hopefully he doesn't find that psychic energy to put on his Aditi, because that might be some trouble. Oh, but then I can out court him, right? He's going to heal him. Is he going to survive the next hit? No, he's not. Okay. Hmm. If he can... I like my chances here, y'all. I think I'm going to hold off on Jasmine because there's literally nothing I need right now. So let's just do a Soul Tackle again. And if he knocks out my Zamazenta, that will be all right because I'll be able to get those Steel Energy cards back in my hand with Mount Coronet. And then put them back. Oh, there he goes right there. Nice. You know what, guys? I, I hate to be so brash and so, <laughs> you know, just up front about it already, but I, I think uh, uh, this might be my new favorite deck. I, I wasn't expecting it to be. I didn't want it to be. <laughs> I honestly didn't want it to be. But he's going to get 220 damage right uh 240 damage right here. Yeah, I'll be dead. And then that is fine, but we're going to get our Lucario and Mel Metal at the forefront right now. So nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna love this deck a lot. I'm gonna be playing this deck a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't need to put any more energies anywhere else to be honest. So um You know what, I can for, you know, no, I won't. I was going to put this other energy just on Cosmog for just in case I get a uh, Solgaleo, but... I'll wait because I'll be able to heavy impact the next turn if I don't do it. Who knows if I'm going to be able to get this uh, uh, energy on the next turn anyway. So it's fine. We'll hold off. 
on it. We'll hold off. We will hold off. So is he? Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna jet out. He is going to jet out. I don't blame him. Because if he did, it wasn't gonna look too great for him. Now the thing is, do I put this energy? I'm trying to think here because if I knock out this Lapras, his Lapras is going to be able to take a kill on my Lucario and Mail Metal. Right. You know what? Not if I retreat. Ooh. Tempting. So I think I'm just going to steal. No, I'm going to just GX here. I'm gonna GX, I'm not gonna do any damage because I'll be able to get Sogaleo in there and he won't die if Indeedy comes in. Nice. Now it depends on what they do here, if they don't Lysander me or uh, what's his name? Guzma me or something like that right now, but that should be the way this is fixing to go. I'm going to retreat with Lucario Mail Metal. I'm going to use Mount Coronet to get those energies back into my hand. And then I'm going to put that energy onto Sogaleo GX. So, uh, but I don't have that third energy to do that. Wow. Okay. So let's retreat. You know, that it, it should still work, right? It should still work. I'm tripping. So I'll do Mount Coronet. I can do this, then I can Magna Zone, right? Of course. Right. And it's running kind of slow because I think I'm going to that. Am I not meaning to take this long? I'm still thinking. I want to think out everything, right? Ooh, that's a weakness. I didn't know that. That's a... So with this, with this, okay, with this Ultra Road, if I mount Coronet, with Mount Coronet, that'll do 110. He won't die, right? Okay. So how do I do this? I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all these energies back on the Sogaleo. Nice. Oh wait, that's not gonna do anything to me. Hmm. He's stalling. He's one million percent stalling. But I didn't know if he needed to right then. Oh, well, he wasn't going to do any damage to me anyway, right? Mm, okay. Okay. I think I see what he's going for. So how do we do this, folks? Okay, not Coronet for sure, right? Who has a two damage move? I think I do this. I 
I just keep them out there. Oh, it can be as many as you like. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought it was one. You just have to click on the energy you want to use. Okay, nice. Okay, if that's the case, nice. Okay. I thought you could only put it on one Pokemon each, but you just have to click on the energy again in your hand to use it. See, yeah, I'm taking a while, but I'm still learning the deck, right? I'm still learning the deck. This Indeedee is literally going to do no damage to me. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, I don't know why you're healing, because if I Sun Steel Strike, if I get this energy, you are donezo, sir. Why doesn't he have any more basic Pokemon he's putting out there? Hmm. Okay, there you go. He's stalling still. He's definitely going to retreat. He should just have this match going a bit longer because if not, uh, I will hopefully be able to knock out this DD on the next turn if I can get this uh, 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 Steel Energy for my next draw on my turn. This deck is getting thinned out pretty nicely, though. <laughs> Mm, I don't know why he keeps doing that, but, you know, do what you do, my guy. Do what you do, my guy. This is going to hurt quite a bit. This is going to hurt quite a bit. I'll give him a well play. He's playing it pretty well, actually. But, yeah, he's still dead regardless right here, so. This is a very first good, man, this is nice. I, I'm, I'm loving this deck. Loving, loving, loving this deck. It just works so well. Oh, nice. Just, oh man, it's so satisfying doing this. It really is. It is so satisfying. Wow. I, I don't even think my water deck works this well together. And this is just my first time playing with it. Man, this is this is really nice. Really, really nice. And put this uh, metal frying pan on Solgaleo just in case something crazy happens right now. Hopefully he'll be able to live it. That's 60 less damage because I GX. Oh man, this is this is nice. This is nice. So yeah, my guy, this is looking kind of grim for you. Wonder what cards he's gonna get here. Is it two specific cards or just any two cards he can put in his hand? Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have to show me, so it's kind of gonna be a little bit of a surprise what he gets. So I wonder what he's gonna be looking for. No clue was in his deck, obviously, but if I had to assume, I would think it'd be i don't know what could help him in this situation because his psychic literally does nothing i have no energy on any of my pokemon right now man this was just a bad matchup for him to be honest with you this is this is the you know one of the cards you know you get rid of all your energy when you attack if you're basing your attack on how many energy your opponent has and not both of y'all together then that's just that's just not great. Uh, what is his weakness? This grass. Who had a weakness early? It was this ice type, right? Lapras is an ice type, so of course it was steel, right? Okay. Water for the games, but you know, glor quote unquote wise, it's steel. So. Um, two twenty damage. I do two thirty. Unless he has another. What is that in his hand? Oh, is he gonna take less damage here? 20 less damage. Nice. Nice, my guy. Nice. Um, I didn't get my... Ooh. But is he going to be able to retreat is the question. No, he will not be able to retreat on the next turn unless he has another air balloon. So just in case he has another air balloon... Dang, I'm gonna do this. Mm. 
I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna attack just in case he has another air balloon and he can get Stone Journer out. Uh, so on this next turn, I should definitely be able to win regardless. Because with Ultra Road, I'll be able to get Lucario and Mail Metal in the next turn. And they're going to be able to do a, a, a free damage on their Stone Journer. Unless I'm not going to kill, which I'm not going to kill with the next hit. And I probably should have just held those energies in my hand to make sure I was going to kill my next hit. Nice. Okay, I kind of gave him a chance. I didn't think that 1 million percent all the way through, but you can kind of understand what I thought I was doing. But it's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. What is that for? Interesting. So that should mitigate some damage, right? I think I'm gonna play it safe. So I'm gonna set myself up for a guaranteed win the next turn. He's going to have to do something crazy to not uh, 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 lose in the next turn. Because I'm gonna set myself up for a Mount Coronet. Ooh, nice, that Arang Aranguru? What is it? Is? <clears throat> so what I was doing there with just putting the one energy on Lucario and Metal. Oh, he V-maxed. Oh, man. Nice. I haven't played that many V Maxes yet. Uh oh. What's his weakness? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I might have played it too safe. Uh-oh, I'm getting quiet, folks. This doesn't look too great. I think I gotta use Cobalion, cause... Oh, well, I'm gonna lose. I'll lose regardless. I'm just gonna take two prize cards at least. Uh-oh. And two hits isn't even going to play on. Uh-oh, I got to try and find a... Hope I get a, a, a Nurse Joy. He's going to do 140. Oh, man. Well played. I think you guys have seen the best match I've played. This is going down to the wire. I don't even know who's going to win, to be honest. I thought I had it in the bag, but I didn't know he had that VMAX. That's nice. This is my first time seeing this VMAX. That's crazy. Should have just took that kill, huh? Oh, yeah. gonna be 150 it's not even gonna be close oh man uh oh it's not even gonna be close folks I get him out of there I put Kabami in there 
Let's see what this does, people. Nice. I didn't know it was going to do 150. Yeah, I, I don't be adding it. I'll just be doing it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So he's going to be able to heal. He's probably got another Nurse Joy. If he does this uh, uh, Stone Gift, I might be out of there. Let's see. What's 140 plus 150? 140 plus 150 is 290. That is not enough to kill him just yet. GG's, GG's, I'm adding you my guy, he came back in one, nice, nice, this Pokemon Center lady is kind of late, <laughs> she's kind of late, but uh, it's fine, it's fine. Man, that was match. Really great match. And this made this video almost an hour long, I'm sure. Which I don't love. But oh well. Nice. Really good match. Yeah, great job, dude. Yeah, great job. That's going to do 130, 140. 140 plus 150. Yeah, good job, man. Great match, dude. Great match, great match. Send my heart, man. Well played. You deserve that. You deserve that, dude. You deserve that. We got everything we wanted too. We got the uh, uh, Jirachi with the Jasmine first turn, and we still came back and won. Nice, man. Nice. Mm -hmm. Great match, great match. Two of one, two. Amazing, amazing match. Amazing match. I even got a lot of Poke Coins for it. I got five. Now, do I want to make this video extra, extra, extra long? No, how about until next time, folks? I'll be opening some new packs by the next video, hopefully. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. It's been your boy Uncle Daddy Luke. If you watched even a glimpse of this video or you happen to skip to the end to be able to hear me saying this, thank you for tuning in. I know this video is super long, which might turn off a lot of people, but it just kind of played out that way. And I guess that's kind of how my steel deck might run too as well. It might take a lot to, a lot of time to be able to play it because it just works so well. And I think it might be my new favorite deck already. So thank you, folks. I really appreciate it. Until the next time. And I forgot I got to do all this to be able to end the video. But <laughs> yet again, thank you again, and I'll see you next time.